In tonight's news for health, powered by healthkey.com, everyone knows that washing your hands plays a big part in preventing a sick day. And with all the instant hand sanitizers and soaps out there, we had a few questions about keeping clean. Fox 43's Heather Warner has more. Just squirt a little bit like that. These antibacterial sanitizing stations seem to be popping up just about everywhere. So when should we use instant hand sanitizer over good old soap and water? If you've just been outside in, in the yard um, doing anything, handling uh, leaves, picking up brush, you'll pick up dirt on your hands. Well, you need to wash that off with water. Just using the alcohol gel sanitizer isn't really enough. You want to get all the stuff off, and that's where you use soap. Is it possible to be too clean? So people want to be exposed to things to try to build up their immunity, so they're afraid that if they're too clean, their immune system suffers. Well, just standing in the environment, you are exposed to many, many different things. You can't make yourself that clean. Does water temperature matter? Some people think you have to use really hot water, and you don't. The only reason for the heat is to dissolve the soap. And in an overpopulated environment, is it necessary to repeatedly sanitize or save it all for one big wash? The important thing to remember is don't touch your eyes, nose, or mouth unless you've just cleaned your hands. So you can be in an environment with dirty hands and not do anything as long as you're not touching your face. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention says along with washing your hands, getting a good night's sleep and drinking plenty of water are the best ways to help prevent the flu.